I got verbs, skills, babies and bills A brother who swamps clearly Still trying to get himself together from it No one can quite run it like me I'm on a cutting edge of what's alleged to be hot And when you rock, it's just impersonations of me The writer's MC, MP with the V in the middle I belittle your plan, courtesy a bit wide, dirty C, my man. My base of fans is made up of many. With kids allergic to belts, letting their mind melt from drinking and hitting. And I'm straightening now, type two. Oh, wow, look at this turnout. Oh my gosh. I'm Sherry. I'm your MC for the night. Okay, remember the way I said you're never going to guess? Like, you never know who's going to come to the stage? I bet you this time you're not going to know. I'll give you this. Um, his goal is to encourage, I think like all of our, our performers tonight, positive social and political change through his art. He's a poet, a theater artist, and a DJ! Our DJ! He's here to perform! Oh my god! Everyone, please welcome Justin Woo! The funny thing about you is DJ and then performing is you don't get that playing any music before you come up and it's like that excitement yeah yeah that's all I get that's what I got but it's pretty cool though okay so I was gonna write this big long poem about Haiti and then about fuck these mics fuck these are so not my fault I'm really sorry um don't slap the wire don't slap the mic just be really careful um and because it breaks easy um, I was going to write this big long poem about Haiti and how screwed up it is in Haiti and also how screwed up it is that nobody in America cares about Haiti until Haiti blows up and then indict myself in that. But then I got the idea like six hours ago to get a chance to write someone or something else. Um, um, I want to I want to give a big shout out to everyone. Yeah, you, you like how I, I trick change it up on you. Um, a big shout out to all the poets who did a really good job and Mike for bringing all this together because Mike is just <laughs> Um, so, all the poets were really great, but I just want to say big shout out to Molly for having got to do a poem that she did. Um, so I think it's really vital and important that women tell these these tell their stories, and I think, but I think it's just it's maybe not just as important, but also very important for men to speak out against rape. This is, a, this is a poem for uh, an open letter for Joseph Fritzl, who imprisoned and raped his daughter for 24 years, sired five children with her, and I believe stole two of them and raised them as his own. There must be some kind of way out of here, said the joker to the thief. There's too much confusion I can't get no relief Dear Mr. Fritzl, We cannot escape each other My imagination cannot stretch to accommodate the enormity of your deeds There are two sharp edges perforate the walls of my mind when I attempt to envision that tiny room filled to Filled to bursting with the cruel bulk of the suffering that you have inflicted. After her third year in captivity, Elizabeth stops screaming. Your hand, once placed firmly over her mouth, became occupied with new violations. Her eyes locked on that wood-paneled ceiling, praying that her gaze could burn through four concrete apartment floors to reach her memories of a world outside of your ceiling, outside of your basement. After you stole her third child, she stopped crying. Tears became a language as dead and foreign to her as Sumerian, Babylonian. She tried to look on the bright side. At least they never have to see this sick circus, you, ringleader, me, caged animal. Your wife always marveled at how much her supposed grandchildren looked so much like you. She didn't realize that she could become mother, grandmother, cuckold, fool, all at once. I pray that your children do not inherit your megalomania, your grasping hands, your probing fingers, your need for control. I pray that their eyes are like their mother's, pupils so white hot that they could burn through solid stone and touch the sky. 
I shudder to think what your reasons must have been to bring your ill 19-year-old daughter, granddaughter, to the hospital. After letting one baby die and disposing of the body in your apartment building's furnace, compassion, a language as dead and foreign to you as mercy could not have whispered to that rotten lump of muscle in your chest that only the most removed clinician could have called a heart. I imagine that when a ringleader grows tired of one animal, he must breed another. Mm, wow. And your basement was discovered. And along with it, your depravity. Hot outrage flowed into my veins almost as quickly as chilly cynicism. It is the only thing that keeps this mad world sane. And you swore you didn't know. You swore you didn't know that those cries meant hunger, fear, pain. You swore you didn't know that baby was dying. And I almost believe you. Because how could you, of all people, understand human suffering? A language as dead and foreign to you as love. And when they marched you in front of the jury, still too bruised and lacerated to be astonished at the atrocity of you, you held a binder over your face. Can't imagine what you thought you were hiding from us. <laughs> Dissipated jowls hanging over ancient bone, hawkish brows framing eyes, Hitler's favorite shade of blue. Maybe you were trying to protect us from that true horror that can only be captured in motion, on film, the path of a bullet, the devil's laughter, 24 years in captivity. I would thank you if I thought you had saved us from anything. Mr. Fritzl, they are called crimes against humanity because you have killed us all. In this world, Joseph, your world, we have all become Elizabeth. Our collective imagination is forever locked in your basement, never again to see the sky. Freedom, a language is dead and foreign to us as forgiveness. Thank you. It's inspirational words, passionate words. We're just gonna bring your next call to the message. Y'all care anymore about this hip hop man? I mean, I mean, how far will you pump a Columbus go for 15 seconds of fame? fame. Microwave popcorn to his hand? Yeah, we give you much more. Much more. Longevity, baby, and your day. Yo, it's been a stale limit since infinite, y'all. Using these minutes like I value the call. Put your money in the bank and hold rank over friends who ain't got leadership skills. I got the sheep in my eyes, so I can't sleep. We like to land and lay the brand away. Grand operate the stand away. At our sights, I play the Xbox instead of up the dice. I hate losing the those who walk away with my dough, cause my dough is Tracy broke me. And now she wanna see the resident provoking me to pop wheelies on my bicycle. Watch your eyes twinkle. One house, two houses, third house, house rules. So house take bank, watch Dave bank.